Chow. Mm. Oh. Blueberry <laughs> or corn? Um, or banana. Banana's I my think banana. I think banana. Well, I'm not a big walnut guy or any of that nonsense. No, I think it's banana. But before, before we keep go, talking muffins, which there's not too many people other than football in the uh, kitchen sink that can talk about just about anything. That's why it's called football in the kitchen sink. <laughs> Welcome to football in the kitchen sink. Get ready for in-depth conversation from the world of high school, college, and pro football. Plus some insight about the rest of the world. All this, along with some fun and humor along the way. Pull up a chair, grab a coffee or a beer. Or a beer. beer. It's football and the kitchen sink. Here are your hosts, Coach Schumann and Coach Di Pascali. I like how uh, he says, or a beer, like, he's basically saying you should go to the fridge right now, get yourself something, pour it for yourself, and just sit and uh, listen to the fellas as they talk about banana nut muffins uh, uh, before they talk football. So, yeah, I do like the banana muffins they make. They're good. But I, I'm on my diet, so I can't. That's what I was asking. I said, dude, that's kind of, see, that's that's tough. That sucks. When you got significant others in the house eating and cooking whatever, and you're sitting here trying to do the right thing, you know, and they're ripping out muffins. Like, come on, man. Like, you know, like you're a new deer trying to stand on these new legs, and they're trying to wipe them out from under you. Like, thanks a lot, buddy. Thank goodness I have so many books back here that I can uh, I can reach for. I didn't know you were doing the show from uh, the library today. <laughs> yeah, not only I'm doing for a library, but it, I closed my library, so it's like uh, yeah, you're woo, very nice. Zoomed in. I love I love uh, uh, people to comment on our uh, uh, what they think of my backgrounds. Now, do you get comments from people through? all of the ways you're broadcasting this out? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So like I can only see the chat comments that come through StreamYard. Yeah, but that's everything. That's like – Oh, that's uh, all of them across the board. Yeah, so anything live. So gotcha. if someone comments something after, then I might yeah, – yeah, 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 okay. Like I respond yeah. – like there are guys that watch it for the first time. Like I don't no. know. Yeah, because I saw comments – uh, on the show, and I was like, "Oh, I was like uh, a few times it's happened to me." I'm like, I, "Like you know, you get a notification, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm like, uh, they're commenting. I'm trying to think about like they're commenting on. It. Obviously, yeah, they're like, watching we're, it. We're, yeah, yeah. They yeah. Were, were replaying it, and I'm trying to remember cool. what we said. You know, what I'm saying so. so right, because right. I forget. It's like ultimately, like we do a, a live section, but at the same time, it's it's still a podcast, so people can go right. And- do it at, at a, whenever it's convenience for them, which is awesome. Right. Um, so I'm trying to remember what I said exactly, yeah. what you said. So I can't remember. I'm like, what was it we were talking about? You're like, we uh, uh, tangent, we, you know, like we tangent so much. I'm like, I can't even remember half the things we're talking about. Listen, man, that's why I keep a notebook with the stuff we've discussed so I can always relate back to it or just, you know what I mean? Like, wait, what were we talking about? Oh, okay. This is that. All right. We're yeah. Gonna- I think we're going to have to get someone eventually to do show notes or something. Yeah, Troy, start writing. <laughs> he can write. He just wrote something today. Oh, nice. You're teaching him script too, right? Uh, not yet. Mm, I'm not teaching. Uh, mm, no, I don't. that's why we have school. We pass why we pay for school. He still ain't learning script if he goes to school. Uh, that's removed from most curriculums. Do, do, oh, do they, they don't teach script anymore? Absolutely not. Or do Come you on. Know? Really? Formally. Like, you know how during elementary yeah. or whatever, you used to have like, okay, penmanship time. Bam. This is what we're doing. Nope. No. Man. And you know, like geography as well, obviously, because, you know, history, that's my world. Geography, as far as where things are, like, here's a blank map, label the states, not taught. It's supposed to be infused into your teaching in history. Oh. Why do you, so you, 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 go the now, you go on your phone and you go, you just type it in and bam, a map comes up and, oh, this is the, where this is. You know how many students come up as young bucks and, and can't, you know, they don't know where anything is? Well, yeah, if you don't show them. The, so you guys don't go, you don't go anymore and show a map and. I don't say here's the 50 states right. where each of them are. No. No way. Yeah, dude, no. As I'm teaching, 
You know what I mean? Like say I'm teaching the revolutionary war and I'm saying, oh, hey, these are the original 13 colonies. Bam. Here's where they are. That's how you're supposed to infuse geography. All right. You ready for some history quiz? Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is, this is just it stimulated me. Okay. <laughs> that didn't sound so good, but yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah, well, not in that way. It was like a gas station sandwich. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> uh, don't get sidetracked, folks. All right. I'm get sidetracked. Go. Okay. Go. All right. First, we're going with um, uh, this state. It, it's it's uh, land mass is one third of the United States. I'll start with an easy one. Oh, uh, Alaska. Correct. Okay. Uh, this state. Um, okay. Here we go. This state's capital. Uh, what what is what is this, what is the state capital of South Dakota? The tough one. Uh, is it Bismarck? Well, one's Bismarck and one's How can Pierre. you ask the question <laughs> not the answer? Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Move I thought on. it was – I thought it about? was – I thought – let's see. No, what are we talking about? Because this that this is this is ridiculous. Like, let's go. Here we go. What are the topics for today? Just because you got right. – I was right. I said Pierre. All, all right. And you – I said, Pierre, you made me question myself. I did not. I answered, and you had no I, idea. I was like, I was like, it's Bismarck. I'm like, well, it's Pierre. I hope one of those books behind you is an atlas. So oh, let's let me, let, me, let me just pull the atlas off the shelf. There you go. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Nice. All right. All right. All right. Get, going on one more. Hold on. Before we get this, one more. One more. One more geography question. Okay. What nation? Oh, nation. Yeah, this is nation. Under God, can you can you handle nation? Uh, Indivisible world, world history. Let's go. Okay, what nation was the former ancient Byzantine Empire? Byzantine. So you're talking <sighs> Middle East, Eastern Europe, that area. Mm -hmm. Turkey. Correct. Thank you. Uh, and, and it kind of it, it, it does like t I think touch a little bit into um, although that might have been under that might have been um, when they expanded. But yes, originally Turkey. Yep. Listen, so, Turkey, Turkey is the connection from Europe to the to the to Asia. Right. Okay. Isn't isn't that considered like Eurasia? Yeah. <laughs> yeah like well like yeah exactly like it's you're talking about like uh, like that area okay that entire area is where the world started that's where civilization started it all kicked off there and why that's the that whole well, quote, um, Mes well the middle east right. Mi middle east that i'm like mesopotamia, mesopotamia all that stuff, you know, the two the two rivers all that stuff is where everything was created. You move forward. Then you get into the religious aspect. You're talking Jerusalem and all that, fighting for the Holy Land. Like, you know, medieval times, we're talking the Crusades, basically wars that are still being fought today mm. that have been going on medieval times with the Crusades. You know what I'm saying? And it's all about fighting for Holy Land. Right. That's it. The entire thing. And that little area of Turkey was the entire pathway from, you know, Europe to Asia. That's where... Everything has gone down since the beginning of time, pretty much. And do you remember, and this is all over the Bible, the capital of Mesopotamia, which then basically became the capital for the long time of like kind of the, the, the biggest city like in the Middle East. Do you remember that what city that was? I do not. Babylon. Babylon. Right. Babylon. But I mean, I always just found it so interesting that basically <clears throat> the Crusades have never stopped. Uh, in one way, maybe not in quote formal war, but this is a fight that's been being fought. That's been fought since you know we're talking knights here. The Middle East, they're still right. Uh, there's nation states, but there's still a huge amount of bam religious bam, bam, conflict. Bam, right, bam. absolutely. It's just that's what it is, man. It's interesting how it is interesting how uh, a conflict. That started th how how religious conflict is so prevalent still today. How much juice it still has? Maybe maybe 
just as prevalent as it was back then when there were less. Maybe because there's more religion too. And what's interesting is this, that America was really the first country to, well, not really, was the first country to allow religious freedom where you can do whatever you want. You could, you could have whatever religion you want. So I think um, what a lot of times people don't even understand is we're talking countries like, you know, the United Kingdom, France, Italy, you know, China, these are countries that have been around for thousands and thousands of years. Spain absolutely. and America is like, you know, a brand baby. new brand. Like we're just some in the grand scheme. If you want to look at world history and start looking yep. at dates, we are just some random country that has formed. Mm -hmm. And who's to say our way of doing things is anything. We have nothing to go on. We're not even 300 years old. Yeah. Well, our way of no. doing as, as far as our way of, uh, our way of doing like it, our I society could fail in 100 years and we'll be just a blip in the in the grand scheme of history. Correct. Right. Because the Roman Empire lasted, what, 1200 years or right. And that was, and look, and uh, that failed. Right. You know? How long like, the Roman? You got to look at countries that have been somewhat like successful in their own ways. China, uh, you know, you know, uh, Great Britain, France, Italy, Spain. These these countries have sustained thousand years. Roman Empire. We're nothing, dude. Nothing. A thousand, a thousand years. Well, we're no on. going to talk about Donald Trump in twenty. You know, in three thousand. You know, when it's we're three thousand years old. Like we might not even be here, dude. Well, in the, yeah, because in the year three thousand. They're gonna probably point to the most poignant events in American history. But if, if we, we go are, down, if we are listen, around, that's we, what I'm saying. If we go down in a hundred years, nobody's even gonna speak of us at all. They may not even know who we are. Well, they may. I mean, they may not because it may right. It didn't last that. It would have lasted right. that long. Well, this, this place was called the United States. They thought they could do this thing called democracy, and everybody could live free. And ultimately, they ended up, you know, killing each other. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. Oh look, bad. they they stormed their own Capitol building, burnt it down, and that was the end of the day. Like, come on, man. They thought they could do this system where you know they had these two parties and they, they thought this was, there was a thing called freedom. <laughs> <laughs> that you people could be free. <laughs> right. Like we How could, could you have it? everyone be free. <laughs> we could be a joke. We could be a total joke. That's they, but that's honestly, it's the right way. I mean, I don't see any other freedom and democracy at some uh, the way it, it was brilliant, brilliant creation. The Enlightenment, you're a historian. The Enlightenment peaked with those ideals. That was the peak of the Enlightenment. Right, because you can look at countries like, look, you want to talk about the Soviet Union. How long were they around? They tried communism. Did it work? Nope. Right, and that didn't even last uh, 50 years. Oh, God, please don't let us start going down that path. Hey, just right, it you is just me out. Just you can sit there and talk history. You I, know, I can talk history all day. Yeah. I, could talk, I could do a podcast on history with you and just me and you talking about history and just pondering, uh, opining on history. We're losing all our viewers, though. All right, so. <laughs> yeah, they want to hear some football. Yeah, they want to hear some football, baby. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, first of all, Danny White from Central Florida, who hired Scott Frost and the last couple of guys at Central Florida. Okay. Bobby Hurley as a basketball coach. And well, a couple other I just uh, love hearing that name. Yeah. So, he had some huge hires. He was hired as – the AD at Tennessee. And there's a lot of praises going out because they feel like this guy is a not just an excellent AD, but a really good hire of coaches in particular. So that's really interesting. And um, I saw that I bring that up and, and, you know, the importance of the AD 
Huge. in a winning college football program. How important is this? Is this is this the key hire? Possibly, they thought when they brought back Philip Fulmer that that was the move to be the AD. Um, is hiring a AD? Well, I'll ask it this way: What's the most important job of the athletic director in a Division One program? Stay out of the way. Stay out of the way. Not I, you should not know an athletic director's name. Can you name five athletic directors at Division One level? Absolutely not. That, and that was my point. That's what I was going to reference as my point. Do you know who the uh, athletic director is at the University of Alabama? No, I do not. Who wins the national championship every year? Alabama. Do you know who the athletic director is at Clemson? No, I do not. Who's in the national championship every year? Ohio State. I do, Gene Smith. Now, I think Ohio State is a little different because their sports all around, every sport is that national championship. I mean, you're not hearing about Clemson basketball. You're not hearing about uh, Alabama basketball on the same level as you would, say, Ohio State. I'll say this. I know one reason I know Gene Smith is the AD is because what happened when Urban Meyer had that controversy with Zach Smith. That was my next point. What's the reason you know these guys, right? Like, for the most part, you probably only know his name. Because, DoorDash. Uh, no, it was uh, – this was a call from California, so I, I really don't know. Oh, bless you. Um, but the uh, – DoorDash. It is busy right now. So every every is, ride is it really? Ride. Yeah, every ride right now. Every uh order, every delivery you take right now, you get five dollars extra. Come on. Yeah, this is how it works. <laughs> oh, uh anyway. I the love only that. The reason you that. would know certain athletic directors in my eyes is because they've been in the news for putting out fires. Like USC, you might know who their AD is depending on the year. If they're, you'll probably know. Obviously, you know right now who the Tennessee athletic director is. Why sanctions? LSU. Do you know that guy? No. I'm trying to think of a school. Notre that Dame. No. I can't think of. I can't think of a. Oh, I do know one. I couldn't name one. Oh, oh no, maybe he's retired now. A uh, Barry Alvarez, Wisconsin. He might still be there. And why do you know him? Because he was a football coach. There you go. Uh, In my eyes, the role of a athletic director is to support and handle the things that would take away from being a head football coach. And basketball. Do you think basketball? Yeah. Sports, sports. Right? Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. yes. We're, we're gearing this towards you know towards football. So yes. What about you know what? How, yes, how important does he? Do you think his job is? I think I, I think of it like at, at Division One level as two kind of main things: um, hiring the right guys so they could do their job, right? Yes. Um, the third is a subset. I mean, you know, they're always going to be putting out fires and having to solve things. That's kind of a given. It's part but of the, the second. Game. The second, yeah, it's part of the gig. If you can't do that, you can't have the gig. The second one is fundraising. They need to be the face. They, they need, need to go to this fun. dinner. They need to meet. They need to be at this fundraising event. They need to go cut the tape on the whatever. But I'll tell you one thing. When we're getting fitted for championship rings, guess who gets fitted first? They that guy. Guess who? Guess who is there? You know. You see, it's hard for me to look at a Division One level. I, I kind of resort back to to our level, to high school. Like when I'm ordering polos or I'm ordering some type of gear, guess who's going to get a shirt, or at least offered a shirt. You know what I mean? Right. Um, if we're doing something that's outside of a of school, hey. Why don't you, you know, it'd be nice if you could show your face or, hey, you're invited to this. 
always, I always want to present it to them and have them make the decision whether or not to show up or not. Mm. I never want to do something without throwing an invite to those people that are above me that make decisions that could ultimately help or hinder me. And I'm also going to be as I'm going to be extremely transparent with that guy as possible. Right. He needs to know everything before anyone else. And and I'm obviously looking at that in terms of say some type of issue arises. He needs to be informed immediately because if he gets a call from someone other than me about something negative in my program or within my program, now we got problems. Well, it also depends on what it is. I mean, if you're talking recur- recruiting, absolutely. I'm not going to run and tell him that, you know, Jojo is upset. Know, he's, yeah, about he's, something. He's, he's boo, boo, yeah. boo. But, you know, if I – now I say, you know. Ma- hey, most – they don't want to be blindsided by major items. Blindside is the thing, right? Like, like if you get in a fight at a game and a parent calls him before you call him getting on the bus, we got a problem. Yeah, but that might happen anyway. If you, if you, in, in, the, in the college, that's not no, – co- now, now, obviously, I'm relating it to a high school thing. Like a college – That might happen. In high school nowadays, that could happen. But, but I'm saying colleges, you have so you know you have assistant ads, you have people that work for him directly that are yeah, you're you, not you know assigned to you know he may be the athletic director, but there may be you know another assistant athletic director. I'm sorry, am I boring you? Well, no, uh, I was just saying am that. Am I boring uh, you? I get up early, so you oh know. my god, with this excuse, it's day three. Let's go. Well, I didn't get up today till seven, so. But um, I'm all over the map. I haven't I haven't had I haven't had any naps today. <laughs> All right, squirrel. Well, what, what I was trying to say was this: uh, athletic director in college is different than high school. Absolutely. Very, very different. They may have the same, the same names. The Not job. even. I don't even think they're in the same. You know, we're talking ballpark now. It's it's totally totally different. High school high school athletic directors. I mean. Look, I, I've I think I've been fortunate enough to work for some good ones everywhere I've been. Um, I just see the roles; it's just so different everywhere you go, as far as what's on their plate, right? I mean, you know, some athletic directors are also supervisors of departments. They may be in charge of you know extracurricular activities at certain places. Um, I've seen some places where they're in charge of middle school sports as well. Uh, I mean, it all depends on what size of your school, right? The number of sports in your building. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen guys be responsible for transportation and then some places they're not responsible for transportation. I mean, there's a lot that goes with it depending on where you are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, they are – the AD department is responsible for for all that, but they – that his specific he specifically may not be um handling like travel and all that kind of stuff you know what i mean right so. i mean look when i was at a group five school the you know the athletic director was there but he had he had an, a quote-unquote assistant athletic director that literally just handled the the transportation aspect of everything right well he i would stick, stick with i would stay with college because high school is different so um okay so i think i think you, I think you kind of gave me your answer, kind of. Well, give me, uh, repeat the question again, and then I'll I'll solidify it. I don't even remember what my question was. Hey, I this think, is why you need to write things down, especially. I, think, I think my question was, early onset dementia. What oh, early what? Early onset dementia. Here it comes. Early onset dementia. No. I, I, I get, what is it? Uh, stuff from my for my gut. What's the stuff from concussions? What's that? Your there's your concussion syndrome. Oh, um, what do you call it? This concussion thing. I forget. PSD. I forget because it was like the prime time thing two years ago. PSD. No, CT. Oh, CTE. 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 Yeah. Well, so. good luck to you. good luck to Tennessee. All right, we're moving on. We spent a lot of time on that. Okay. 
I, 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 Tennessee's boring me. Creamsicle. I like their unis, but Got I don't want to get into it. But no. at least they switch back to Nike. The checker, you don't like the checkerboard no. end zones? Awesome. Come Hate on. It. Hate awesome. it. All right, hold on. Before we go to this next thing, your favorite looking football fields. Five favorite. I'll tell you my least favorite. Okay. Notre Dame. Oh, I'm like, is it too plain? Those stripes in the end zone? Hate it. Hate it. I'd rather literally have a blank end zone. I'll tell you my favorite. Easily, hands down, the best field in all of college football is LSU's field. It has Absolutely. yard markers every five. I like the Tiger Eye at the 50. Tiger Eye in the 50, the inspiration for the old pal Park Leone Eye of the Tiger on the helmet. I will, give you, I will give you one that I don't think anybody would mention. What? East Carolina. I, I haven't seen it. Pull it up. I love how they do the state. And a pirate logo right on the 50. Now, to look at and say that my top two fields and, and of things like that both have the color purple in them literally makes me want to vomit. But mm. that is what's very attractive. I enjoy when... In the national championship, when Alabama has the black end zones, the black like end, the an all black end zone with just white Alabama. I I, I I think that's I like that. But let's see other fields. Uh, you know, I, it's 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 tough. I do like full colored end zones, but they have to be done right. So I don't need lettering in them. How? All right. So I'm going to give you a couple. Of, there, there's the eye of the tiger right behind me. Can you see it? Yay. <laughs> Look I, how do, sick I want to say one thing. I dislike playing at MetLife Stadium for championships, but we'll get into, we can get into that. Okay. Give me some uh, fields. So, all right. So, number one, I like LSU. And my two reasons are the eye of the tiger, which you, I think that's so unique and so cool. And then every five yards, they have their, their yard mark. Numbers, right. And that's you know, something that's extremely different. Cool. Cool as hell. All right. Number two, I think the the second best field, I just had it in my head and it just went away from my head. Um. Oh, God, it's a unique feel. I can't believe I ever forgot this. Oh, Tennessee is my second favorite. Yeah, no. Checkerboard. Nope. I mean, how do you not like the checkerboard? I just don't. The third fa my third favorite field is the Boise State field. I would have said that a few years ago. Well, I, for uniqueness. But obviously there are others that are pretty cool. Like Eastern Washington's all red. Eastern red, yeah. It's all red. So, yeah. I mean, originally the blue turf 10 years ago, no doubt. Memphis. Um, What's that? Memphis. Memphis is state, the blue? Check it out. Tiger striped end zones. Tiger striped end zone. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's cool. That's pretty cool. What'd you say? Eastern what? I mean, uh, East Carolina? East Carolina, baby. Let me see that field. The purple? Ooh, I just purple. Did you not hear anything I said? Undaunted with the pirate in the middle? Yeah, that, that's in there, man. That's a top five right there. That's cool, right? Delta, yeah. I like that. Um, Because I like that. The pirate within that state. There's something about, like, I know you don't. I don't think you like this. But I think, like, Rutgers, the middle of that field, should be the state of New Jersey. What's the middle of Rutgers field, a big R? Yeah. I think it should be New Jersey with an R. And then black end zones with Rutgers. Black end zones would be cool. As ah, cool. Very cool. Although it might be tough in the night playing black end zones. Whatever. 
Yeah, yeah. Lights. right with red, with red like scarlet knights. Oh yeah, with that a would white be outline. Doubt. What's that red? What's that with white outline? Yeah, to make yeah, it. Yeah, that would be so cool. Or I think they need to. I know they love the block R, but I think they need to develop an actual scarlet knight mascot. Yes. More yes, like a pirate has, like, like the guy that walks around, like their physical mascot, not the goofy caricature type of person, like an actual knight, like like Florida State has with uh the the Seminole Seminole, which is like the uh, yeah yeah right, not okay. the caricature guy. No. I agree. Don't give me one of those. Give me a knight. Yeah, like a real. Well, they do have a knight. I see. But I can say, like, give me that and make that more of your logo. Let me, let me uh, tell, tell me what you think. Look, I think there should be to every program, and I'll tell you this, to every program, I think you should have three types of marketing, whatever. At some point, you should have the letters, okay? You should have the letter, like a block R, you know, FSU, stuff. Yeah, that. I think that's cool. I think you Do should have not the, letters. Play that the, letters are, the letters are one thing. They don't play it up enough, You should I have think. the mascot. So whatever mascot you are, you need to have a formal mascot, right? Well, how come they don't play this up more? That's my question. That's, that's what I'm saying. LSU has the tiger, right? You should have a or something. O Oklahoma has the wagon. The, you know, University of Colorado has the, the boomer the, schooner. The, the University of Colorado has a buffalo. The buffalo, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I even like Old Miss. I think it's what is it? Is it Old Miss that has the dog? Is this not quite cool enough? That's my question. It's, I think this 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 is cool. It's on the right path, but they need more to him. Right. Like the thing I don't like is say like, and I guess you can't like, really. He needs a sword. Have, or is like, that a sword? That he does have a sword. Right. Like the Oregon duck, right? Like it's more of a caricature. Like Syracuse orange men. They got a guy with a big orange head. That's that's terrible. I don't think. Like, I think for me, like UConn should have an actual husky. They do, right? So Jonathan. that's you know that's that's what I, you know what I mean. Like now you look at like University of Miami. Like in the eighties, they had a lunatic who was playing that guy. He's actually I just read today. He's the, the actual guy who played them is the head of their Hall of Fame committee. Like he runs the Hall of Fame at the University of Miami, but he used to get into trouble because he was a lunatic. But that's like a caricature. You know, yeah. University of Georgia Bulldogs, they actually have a bulldog. Right. Like in my eyes, Ugga. the Florida Ugga. Gators should have an alligator tank in an end zone. I don't know about that. That might be dangerous. Just, this is what I'm talking about, though. Like something real. Forget an alligator tank. One thing about the alligator just run around. What like uh like Ohio State? What the hell is no? That? Like you know you know. All right, all right. Let, all like right let's go to all right. So let's shift this conversation. Okay. Like Michigan should have a real Wolverine. I, I, that might be dangerous. All right. So let's shift it. Who has the best? Not logo you see on paper, but like actual logo uh, uh, mascot. Dude, I, I love Florida State. You Seminoles number one in your opinion. That dude, when he rides out on a real horse, right, and stabs the spear into the fifty. Awesome. Let's go. Awesome. All right. Who would you say is the second best one? I like Oklahoma. The Boomer Schooner. The Midwesterners. I mean the 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 settlers. I like it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you one. I don't necessarily like the the. I'm not a like a fan of this program, but I think they got a great one. USC. Yes, the guy. The that's the, what the Scarlet Knight should be for Rutgers, right? Um, I'll give you one. But doesn't that guy do an awesome job? He takes the sword. He uh, throws it down. He's a Trojan. Right, and like you said, that same thing, FSU. He rides to the 50, spikes the spear. Yeah, like that guy should spike – like he should he should spike the sword, no? I'll give you one. Uh, Texas. Vivo, baby. I was just going to say that's a great one. Vivo. And then you got Buffalo. Troy likes Ferdinand better. Um, uh, Not Buffalo, I'm sorry. 
Colorado with the Buffalo. Another awesome one. Top 10 easily. You know, and you you go around and you kind of think about programs and what they could do. LSU has has, has LSU is Mikey the Tiger. Tiger. LSU is Mikey the Tiger. Right. He's like in, he's right. in the K. What about like War Eagle, Auburn? And War look, Eagle. Where, where are most of these schools we're talking about? SEC, Pac-10, or whatever. Like, what what is what are, like now look, I, I, does Ohio State counter this with the way their band is and dotting the I? Is that tie right. into this or is that well, different? That's the best bands. I does anybody else even have a band? <laughs> like they're not, but they're probably number ten because I would go uh, Grambling, right, 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 absolutely. Um, like what does like a uh, like you just think about you know you think about the ability for programs to do certain things like this? You know what I mean? Mm. Like what other programs do we think? I'll switch the question a little bit. What programs do we think could do something like this and make it boom? Ooh, I like them. By the way, I was just thinking about the Mountaineer. I like the Mountaineer too. The West Virginia. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the guy guy is, the thing. I don't know if he, does, if he does anything per se, but it doesn't matter. His 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 outfit there. Yeah. Right. Okay. So what teams could potentially have a great one, but don't? I'm thinking you could do something cool at Arizona State. A Sun Devil? Do they – what do they have? I don't even That's know. what I'm saying. I don't know. Their mascot's more of a caricature. It's a cool drawing, but I don't know if you could physically do something. Their uniforms are cool. It's like a, oh, they have a, like a cartoon kind of guy. Right, but it's cool. He's got the pointy tail, the horns. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you're saying, but you like him as a person. How would you make him into something real? Good point. E. E. Bryant 34 here says no Oklahoma, Oregon. Yeah, I like Oregon. I like everything about Oregon, but their duck is like a caricature. It reminds me of like Daffy Duck. The same thing with like the Bruins, UCLA. They don't have an actual Bruin. Right. But why is that? Obviously, it's probably pretty hard to tame. Right. Uh, like you're thinking about a Wisconsin, you're thinking about a bat. Would that be cool though if UCLA had a bear? That or I, I'll take you one more even better. I'll take you one more. Alabama doesn't really do much with theirs. An elephant. Right. Wouldn't that be cool if they had an elephant? They wouldn't be able to control it. But Like I they, said, Florida State or like Florida if they had a gator. <laughs> oh, my God. The gator would be just uncontrollable. Mm. Like and now I'm starting to like, you know, I'm going through. Yeah, whatever. I'm just looking. Like Nebraska, the Cornhuskers. What's that? That's more of a caricature, correct? Right, he's a farmer. Right. Um, what the hell is Penn State? A Nittany Lion. If they had a mountain lion or something like that, that'd be pretty cool. But I don't even think they have a mascot. Well, it's a mountain lion. The Nittany no, Lion. But, that's, but formally. No, I, I don't think so. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think so. I need like, a coffee. If they had a panther. Oh, I need a coffee. Um. You know, yeah, I just think some of these wild animals are going to be tough. But um, what's a gamecock? I think a gamecock's a bird. No, Clemson Tigers. What is a gamecock? A bird? I am right. It's a bird. I don't think they have that there. Clemson Tiger. They definitely don't have a tiger. But I've been to LSU and they do have a tiger. They don't. Oh, bring yeah. him, they don't bring him in the stadium, but he's in his own cage. Um. You got Rutgers, Scarlet Knight, Syracuse, Orangeman. Orangeman. I don't what, know. What, Boston College? It was an Orangeman originally. Yeah, isn't it like – Isn't it a Native American? That's what I thought. Well, they've spun away from it if it is because you wouldn't – If we're questioning right, it – Right, because they, well, they we're calling it Orangeman. It's a big orange now. Right, it's like somebody with an – It's a, a, so a like, uh, Literally, it's an orange. I'm yeah. looking at it. It's an um, orange. But, what is but it has to originally have been a college. What? What's Boston College? Boston College. <laughs> That's kind of bad. One of us should know that. 
What is their mascot? <laughs> Man, we just lost Jeopardy bad. <laughs> oh my god, it's an eagle. That could be cool. I think they do have an eagle at it, if I'm not mistaken, to Dude, be honest. How about the worst one? They don't play it up though. How about the worst one? Maryland. You're a turtle. <laughs> Imagine that thing trying to get to the 50. <laughs> Syracuse Orangemen, they could have Donald Trump as their mascot. That's terrible. He's orange. No? That would be the hype. That'd be hype. I'll just Actually, get a real housewife of New I Jersey. Think, they, might not, they, might get anybody, they might not get too many people showing up. Then. Um, or they may get a lot of people showing up. You never know. Okay, so let's see. It's one or the other. I lost it. I, I'm losing it. Okay. Well, I'm trying to find another Maryland one. Terrapins. You got a, a, a turtle. That one's just not a good mascot, I, period. Horrific. I'm literally going through all the colleges in my head. I'll give you another field that I like. North Carolina. Oh, we're wrong. On, on the orange bin. What is it? Okay, you ready? This is wild. I would have never. I learn something new every day on on the kitchen sink. So the orange men are of the orange order, which was a pr Protestant fraternal organization. I don't know how they got, how that became. That's what an orangeman is. Yes, a member of the secret society organized in North of Ireland, seventeen ninety five, to defend the British sovereign and to support the Protestant religion. A Protestant Irishman, especially of Ulster, is an orangeman. The Loyal Orange Institution, commonly known as the Orange Order, is an international. Protestant fraternal order based in Northern Ireland. It also lodges in England, Scotland, and the Republic of Ireland, as well as through the British Commonwealth and the United States. There's your history lesson for the day. I did not know that. I stand corrected on what I thought it was. And it also makes you think, like, there's so much stuff with, like, um, Native American mascots but this is this is an I guess an Irish mascot. It's not thought of negatively. Interesting. Very very interesting. That was interesting. I did not expect that at all. I expected to say that was an. Uh, but I guess you know what? If it was, they probably would have changed it already. So. Right, most of those schools are out, and and it's. So here's what's so stupid. Why are they? Why is their mascot an orange? Maybe that was the easiest transition. See, it's interesting. Oh, and they're called the Syracuse Orange now. They're no longer the Orange Men. Right, because it can't be men. In 2004, Syracuse Orange men and Orange women lost their genders and became known simply as the Syracuse Orange. It's an, a generally accepted error to think that the recently deposed athletic made a decision. On that. Interesting. Okay. All right. So the other two hires that are really interesting are. Detroit Lions hiring a guy with the same last name as a guy from Iowa State. Um, but the – I can't think of his name. And then, right? Cam. Is that right? No, or is that the Lions? No, no, no. Lions. The Lions, Lions hired, hired Campbell. Campbell. And then the – Eagles went and hired some – the offensive coordinator from uh, Indianapolis. Interesting. Okay. And then one of the arguments was that one of the guys don't call their offense. I think it's Indianapolis, and they were saying, right. why not be Because Alan? Frank Reich is there. Right. So Biennemi, 
they asked Bianami, do you want to be a head coach? He said, yes, I'd like to be a head coach. And it's so like, – I, I'd love to interview player personnel as to why they, they chose one person over another. Why he's nowhere to be found? Yeah, like – I don't understand. Every for two years in a row now, he's basically been the number one guy, and yet we see all these other guys getting hired. That it's like, mm. where's this guy? Mm. Weird. Not so, to mention he's a minority hire, right? And there hasn't. Well, the Jets hire. Does that have something to do with it? In the fact that are they? <laughs> are they? interviewing him to fulfill the Rooney rule. Oh, and then they're not really interested. They're just because. That's what, so that's the one issue with the Rooney rule. One of no the issues. issues. No. issues. It's one of the things that really pisses me off. That's an issue of it because someone like the enemy could get interviewed over and over again. And they never, they may not even have an interest in they're him. just interviewing to interview. Right. And it'd be that's better for him. It'd be better for him to spend his time um, on teams that actually were interested in him, right? Now, I'm pretty sure he interviewed with every open job. No, I'm I'm saying, like, but if you're putting your effort into getting the job, right, sometimes right. interviewing at every job, like, so, like say you have 10 interviews. I'll just use that as you go. Say you have 10, let's, let's not even say 10. Let's say five interviews for jobs, okay? And you have to figure out what each person's place is like. You got to do the research. Blah, 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 right? Uh, or you have two interviews, okay? Now, the chances, quote, unquote, are lower of getting a job, but you could put a lot more effort effort <laughs> into uh, putting yourself into a good position at the jobs, those two jobs that you interviewed at. Does that make sense? Or am I crazy? Yeah, I'm just <sighs> – It's the whole Rooney rule thing is just, it pisses me off because to force somebody to interview someone just because they're a minority is in my eyes, asinine. If you're, if you're look, if you're up for a job and you're qualified enough, here you go. Right. Like, I don't understand it. Do you think NFL teams want to lose? Like they're going to try and find the best, possible candidate everywhere don't force something on me i i agree with that but you but most more of it is i think um more of it i think is that they're trying to get two things happen they do get experience in interviewing that maybe Correct. they would not have gotten um and i get that and they're trying to get some level of equality of opportunity. Now, I don't know if it's achieved in that manner, but I guess that's actually the quote unquote design. Oh of my it. God, another one. <laughs> I'm going to start counting them. What? Yawning? Yeah. Uh, I, trying to, I actually find myself turning, trying to read the titles of the books. Do you see one? Let's see if they're actually titles. I think the one says Dark Dude. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> it would be over your left ear. If you pointed right here on your left ear, it literally says Dark. Nope, the other side. Yeah. No, it doesn't. It says, goes here. It says uh, Dark Dude. Jackson Kane says it's a waste of everyone's time if the employer has no actual interest in hiring the employee. But right, right, like I would relate it at a lower level. It's like, look, I went to school with this kid's father. I'm going to take him for an interview. Just then, he's not going to get hired, but at least I'll give him interviewing experience. Right. <laughs> this book right here is my plain Jane. I can't. I, I just can't. Look, and that one's To Kill a Mockingbird. And look, there is The Crucible, Canterbury Tales. 
Um, where's that? <laughs> but, one? that, that I'm, one. I'm, not, I'm like 1984. Uh, yeah, where's 1984? I'm making this stuff up. Oh, I'm just go the Odyssey. I'm going through all the books we had to read in school. <laughs> um, what else? The Giver. This one, this one says "Wreck It All." <laughs> that's that's the book you bought for Troy for Christmas. <laughs> wreck It Ralph. We're having the Wreck It Ralph. Right. Chris. Something heart. Oh, look. Look at your phone. Know. Squirrels. Yeah. I, I think that's a good point, man. Uh, look, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. When I was younger, you oh, know. Oh, wait, Mr. Brian's got it. It's a good, good. I didn't even see all this stuff. Yeah, I was trying it. to. I try to. Don't you. You don't hear me when I try and say things like, oh, so and so. Hey, Mr. Brian said my Donald Trump was funny. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew you were going to say that. Um, at a younger age, I can remember putting in for head coaching football jobs that look, I was so not ready to do it, but I would still put in, in order to see, you know, if I got interviews, great. It was, you know, one, it was interview experience Two, It was networking, you know, like I would, I did that a lot and I've only kind of developed that stuff moving forward. You know, I got my big head coaching binder with do's and don'ts and all that kind of stuff, stuff that I've compiled through the years and, and whatnot. Um, so I do see one angle where interview experience is is, is excellent. Um, but at the same time, like after a while, what are you doing? You know, like how come, is there a reason? Maybe he's not, a, maybe he's not a good interviewer. I find that hard to believe. I, I find it hard to believe. I find it hard to believe that he could apply for six of these jobs and no one was willing to pull a trigger on him. The only thing that could happen is, you know, having uh, been a head coach for a long time and interviewed many times in different positions. Um, I'm sure you've been through it all too. One on one most, interviews, most, panel interviews. Most of the time, your chances high are higher of success if it's somebody that's familiar with you. Of course. This whole so thing that, isn't working. But that's my only thing. Maybe. How maybe many Eric Bieniemy. I, I got to look at his resume. Maybe Eric Bieniemy's network is not as familiar with him personally as they might be. With how, how often do you get hired? And this is a general question. It's not directed directly at you. How often does someone get hired where – there isn't some, what's the word I'm looking for? Knowing of that person or some relationship. Well, I'll be honest. Only the, the, for only, you personally, only I happened think you're a rarity. Only, only happened once that the person, they knew me well. That's what I'm saying. I think you're a rarity. In the that, other in times part. it was they, they knew of me and they knew people that knew me. I think that's that's what I'm saying. How many times is there some? But I didn't know them, them per se. Right. But they knew people that knew me, or I could refer them to people that they knew well that knew me. I did not know that they knew them well until you had the conversation. But I could tell you that um, if there wasn't a familiarity somehow, whether I knew it or not, with me, I'm pretty sure I wasn't getting the job. At any of those positions, even if I was a finalist, because if, they're, if, they're, if you're completely in the dark on someone, even if you really, really like them in a coaching position, it, it's still unlikely that you will choose them, you know? So um, I think that's, that's the, the, the deal. Like if they have somebody that, and, and, and I agree with, you know, and I, I've been, uh named uh head coach four times three so, scheduled currently only one who knows of me but some know of my references that's of course. okay if they know yeah. your reference if you if you hey, have good a luck man good great. luck jackson go get him jackson if this person know the guy i don't know there's a show it to if this person i know and like likes 
Are you local, Jackson? Where are you, buddy? No, I don't think so. No, I would say. Um, yeah, good luck. So I, I, I do think um, I think a big part of it is if they know some of your references. That's a huge part to it. So well, here, I look at this, right? That that kind of one, two, three, four, five in the five jobs I've gotten. Okay. The first one I played for the head coach. The second one, my best friend was the offensive coordinator. The third one I played with the I, I played for the head coach. Now the fourth one the fourth one I played for the head coach. And this one I knew you extensively, I guess. Oh yeah. Definitely had to give you a leg up. But what was interesting is we had never worked together no. formally as coaches. No, but I've learned to, um, over my experience, learn to get better at vetting people people I know and who would work out with me. Right. Uh, that took time, many years. In my, okay. in my, you have to develop that. Let's see my first Nashville, one. Tennessee. What's going on at the University of Tennessee, Jackson? <laughs> Maybe Jackson wants to bring you on board up if he gets it. I want uh, you put it on me. I think you do that so that I get a job and then I have to hire you, and then it gives you a reason. And I then you really look, and then it doesn't look like you're searching or <laughs> reaching for your dream outside of New Jersey, so you could you know make some cash. That would only be uh, oh they like he likes the AD hire. I agree. We agree. We think okay. So. We Let's think we got to so. try. Now we have an insider. So so what I think um, so my first let's see so my no actually if you're an AD that might be a different story. Yeah, maybe I would. Maybe I push you somewhere. No, if you if you were I'm athlete, not hiring you, of course you would. You 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 have the greatest times with me as your your. Head coach. I'd hire you as my marketing guy. What? I wouldn't be your marketing guy in a high school. What do you need a marketing guy for? We're going to we're going to Texas, dude. This is big time. You don't have uh, to coach any on the field stuff. Why would I not want to coach? <laughs> I didn't say you didn't. I'm trying to make your life easier and get you all the money you want without easier. all the headaches. I don't want my life easier. I like if coaching. you want headaches, then let's go. It's like, yeah, if I wanted my life easier, <laughs> I, w- I would. I wouldn't be a coach. I don't have to coach. Um, You'd be in sales. You would be the guy on Wolf of Wall Street, Matthew McConaughey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You want to know how I used to close mm-hmm. sales back mm-hmm. in the day? That's you. Mm-hmm. You want to know how I used to close big ticket sales back in the day at Tech? Penny stocks, baby. No, I mean how I close big sales. How? We go get ourselves a slice of pizza. That's it. But I don't know. How's the pizza in Nashville? Well, I lived well when I lived in uh, New York. In, so if you go to Texas, what do you do? Do you go get like uh, well, I go, a? If I, well, you know what I used to do in Hoboken. When I lived in Hoboken for deals I was doing for NUC. I'd meet them in a diner. Oh yeah, that's that's money. You gotta like see if you go when you go to the fancy restaurants. Yeah, you're, you're, there's a persona and, and a way you're supposed to – you can't be loose. You can't be loose, man. You can't talk. Right. You go to a diner and get some disco fries. Like, let's rock. You go to a diner. You eat, eat something. You have a conversation. You have a coffee. Right. Like, you don't start talking business right away. Yeah. You get to know them better. Or or, or when I was in the city, it used to be to get a, pe- get a slice of pizza, talk – They'd be eating their pizza. I'd be eating my pizza. Be like this great pizza right here. My go-to in New York City back in the day was this place called Two Boots. So would you be – if I is this wrong to say that you were like an episode of Friends? Like that's the life you lived? Like your apartment and then you went downstairs in the city and had a uh, coffee shop? I live shop by myself. Coffee? I live by myself. See, I'm sorry, but that I, I'm so jealous because that would – to me, living by myself would be uh, – I'm such that person, like an antisocial human. Like I know a lot of people see me and like I can talk and whatever, but I love being alone. It's amazing. Sorry, Jen, but it's phenomenal. Silence is so golden. Yes, brisket. In Texas, you would get brisket. Bar- What's brisket? Hundred percent. You never had brisket. You never had brisket? 
I don't know what it is, so I don't know if I had it. It's Why like you, meat. man. Oh, it's like meat. It's meat. You've had it. I guess. You never had brisket? Apparently not. <laughs> Have you ever had barbecue? Like I put barbecue, barbecue. I put barbecue sauce on a lot of things. <laughs> no, no, like, like barbecue, like, like. Uh, I guess not. I'm gonna take you somewhere. Yeah, like right. where do we go? Like, tell me where here. we go. Uh, well, in Red Bank, there's a place uh, called um, something smoke or something. Well, let's go. I'm down. I'm sure I like it. I love barbecue. I wonder if there's a Mission barbecue around here. They're all over. The... Man, you you. Let's see, let's see if there's a mission barbecue. I think they're at What's basically. the go to in uh well like what's the go to? Oh, I'll take you to this. Listen, I'm gonna take you. It's a little bit west of here. I didn't know if they had one here, but they do. You gotta go to this. Well, and you're I'll on take, diet. I'll take you. No, I'll 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 step away from my diet. <laughs> oh, let me see. What's the uh, go to? Oh, Jackson says it's a type of barbecue. I'd say Texas is brisket. Memphis pulled pork. Uh, Yo, yeah, Memphis I'll pulled, I'll eat I, pulled pork. That's phenomenal. I like the Memphis dry rub. But um, uh, rib. Like, like if the we're in, like, listen, if we're in New Jersey, you say our go to food would be like Italian, right? Like pizza. Yeah, pizza. Right. So, like, if I'm in, so I'm, I guess I'm asking Jackson, if I'm in Tennessee, what's my go to food? Barbecue. It's barbecue. Okay. Def oh, and I have a great barbecue spot for you. And what is it like? If I was in California, what is it like? Lettuce? <laughs> Tofu? Uh, 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 maybe Mexican, too. Uh, 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 um, Mexican food is, is fantastic in Southern California. He said barbecue the west side of the state. Nashville, everyone's all about hot chicken. What the oh, hell? hot chicken's Get awesome. Flipping. Is there any other type of chicken? No, you got to see it. Man, oh, you don't you don't you don't have TikTok. They, they they have a whole thing on how to make hot chicken. What the hell's hot chicken? Oh, man. You like got is there a difference like uh, do I get cold chicken? <laughs> No, it's like it's spicy. It's spicy. Oh, okay. So it's got some what like some Frank's hot sauce on it or something? <laughs> Is, I'm this gonna really, is this really that bad? Like, am I supposed to know all this stuff? Or I'm just not cultured? You're not cultured. I'm, 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 I'm very that. good my on that. You're not I'm cultured. Secluded. What? I'm very closed in when it comes to food. Listen, well, when I worked in West Orange, man, a Jamaican jerk chicken is phenomenal. But jerk chicken's great, yeah. I used to love my Jamaicans on my team. They would they would cook that up. I love that aspect of it. All you right. Know, like, Different cultures warrant different foods, obviously. Oh, here, look. Jackson's giving us some spots to go I'm gonna, to. I'm gonna give you a spot, Jackson, in Nashville. Okay. And my my uh it, it, I don't know if it's still good. If it's I think it's still it's there. So, he said it's so hot you feel like you're high. <laughs> yeah, it's so hot. But it's great. It is great. I'm gonna give you a good I don't has he ever been to Judge Beans barbecue? I'm curious what he thinks I don't of that. Know the chat's right there. Have we a friend, a friend of mine, a friend of mine owns that. Judge Bean. It, in Brentwood. It's in Brentwood. Is that a section of Nashville, I'm guessing? Uh, it's like a suburb. It's a suburb. Ooh. If you come here, go to Bolton's Hot Chicken. Yeah, try out Judge Beans. It's re it's really good. Brentwood. So like, if uh, somebody was visiting us here in New Jersey, where are you going to tell them to go eat? If they're coming on the shore? No. Say like North Jersey. Oh, I would take him to some pizza. I take him to Pizza Town in uh, in Elmwood Park. That's with the. Yeah. That's a good spot. My mouth's watering. The pizza Town, Pizza Town in in Elmwood Park. You could get pizza. That's great. Pizza's great. They have unbelievable meatball sub, unbelievable Italian sub. Unbelievable um, uh, calzone, best calzone I've ever had. I think I'm an under. I think best I'm, Zappolis I've ever had. I'm a low key Italian sub guy. Like you give I'm me not, a good I'm Italian not even, sub. Yeah, Italian. I'm not a huge Italian sub guy, but their Italian sub gotcha. is out of this world. I the bread, man. I wonder. All right, what, now what about down here since we've relocated? 
down here, my favorite place down here of all places. I'm not going to lie, and it's a little – Brooklyn Square. Out, you know, we wanted to go to Brooklyn Square. It was closed. Dude. That's that's Jackson, right? Yes. There's also oh, one right Derek here. In the Brooklyn Square. You got to get the Sicilian, dude. I heard it's unbelievable. It's like – I mean, look, Barstool did a review on it. He yeah, I saw it. it. That's why we wanted to go. And it no, wasn't see, now there's another one that's here in Tom's River as like their number two store. And I'm telling you right now, their white slice. It's good. They're in, there's another one in um, Marlboro, Manalapin, too. Um, it, it, it's it's good. I like uh, – let me think down here. Let me think. Well, let me just take a quick quick thought. This is what I love, too, because when, when recruiting is actually happening, not in a pandemic, and these coaches come here, like, it's funny because you see some of them tweet, like, can't wait to get to so-and-so so I can get a slice of pizza. Or, you know what I mean? Like, I think that's fun. So, pizza down here is not as good. Oh, of course not. No. Uh, the place I like, but not everybody else around me likes it as much, is is Brothers. I like Brothers a lot, which is what, what you know. What's the one by school that everybody swears by? Gianni's. It's okay. It's good. It's all right. Solid. It's okay. I. A lot of people around here like Danino's. Danino's? Uh, they do thin. Oh, really? I'll tell you what. One of the best pizza places, and we're talking thin I bar think I at Danino's. Where's that? What town is that? Right on, it's Brick, right on Manilokan Road. Uh, oh, maybe the, I drove by. Maybe the I, place I like is uh, Ramsey Kinchley's, right up from Bosco. Yeah, thin yeah. Bar That's pie. Is that on the? Is that over in New York or in no? York? No, it's right in Ramsey. That's a good spot. I'm for that, but I think that's cool. The, you know, I literally wanted to teach. I had an idea a couple years ago to teach history, history through food. Mm. I thought it'd be an extremely interesting class where you could relate certain things in history and the food and culture and all that type of stuff. I thought it could all tie in. It would be really cool. Um, but that was just one. Of my, Cause I mean, if you literally, you go travel our country, right? Yes. Every place you go is, is something different. I'm going to give you a show. That you, do you have Netflix? Listen. Yeah. You know, like, look like crab cakes from Maryland, lobster from Maine, pizza from New Jersey, uh, obviously brisket from Texas. Uh, Mexican food from wherever, you know what I'm saying? Like certain things in different places warrant you. You know a place about. I like, but it's not obviously right now. Uh, maybe it is open again. Um, I like in Seabright. I like Tommy's Tavern. Okay. Have you been there? No. It's good. Tommy's is good. Tommy's is it's huge. Great atmosphere. That's probably where I. If but I. How much does atmosphere play into? Well, the place like that. You can get anything there too, and it's gotcha. pretty. It's like a huge place, but atmosphere. I mean, usually I go with my family, but I still like the atmosphere. You still have an cheap. atmosphere with a family. It doesn't get shut down just know, because Troy's true. running around around under the table. Give him an iPad. Literally, <laughs> literally running around. Literally, I got to give you this show because I want to make. Uh, I want you to. I think you'll love it. Where is it? It's on Netflix right now, and it's uh, – I'm telling you, for everybody out there, if you have it and can, right, and I already told you about it, the, the new Tiger Woods documentary, it's a two-part documentary that was just released on HBO, hour and a half each, absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, I'm definitely if – any, If you can, some way, shape, or form, watch it. That and the CC Sabathia one. Let me see if this is it. So good. All right, this is it. Ready? This is the guy. This is the show, and I think you'll like it. Uh, it's called Chef's Table, which is like a series they normally have, but it's specifically Chef's Table um, Barbecue. And it's Netflix? Yeah, let me just make sure I'm right. Cause Jackson, if you ever come to Jersey, dude, you can get some uh, 
well, I guess what are we supposed to call it now? Because we're down here. Pork roll. I believe it It will always be Taylor Ham to me. Taylor Mega Cheese, man. That's it, bro. I'm yeah. not an everything I'm not an everything bagel guy, though. Give me a pumpernickel oh, bagel. I like everything. Nope. You should listen, I'm gonna tell you, watch this and tell me you don't if you don't love it. Chef's table barbecue. Got okay. It. The Done stories deal. are so cool. Like the one guy is in Australia. And he's like this renowned barbecue chef, and he cooks with fire, like the way. Listen, cooks. I would love to see what the uh, North Carolina the barbecue, barbecue is a big deal. What's that? North Carolina barbecue. Right, I think the South. Where is is like I want to go and do Louisiana gumbo crawfish. Uh, I, Cajun, I, 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 Cajun. I, I want to try I that. Did I tell you my crawfish story? Yeah, but I'm saying, yeah, that's on my reference. You know, I want to do uh, that. That was fun. I would love to try some Cajun food. Uh, Daddy. Gumbo, right? Because gumbo is like what? It's like a good. sausage type of thing. My favorite place in New Orleans. I mean, there, there are higher. Well, I've, never just, I've never had crawfish or any of that. Yeah, so crawfish. There's, there's places that are off the. We found this place that was kind of off the. Um, which makes it even better. Yeah, someone told us it was off the beaten path, and it was like this you might get a little scared in Cajun country. Yeah, we're driving. We're like, where are we going? And then all of a sudden, it's like this place. Like, I'd like to try alligator or crocodile, whatever you can eat. I'd like to try Florida, that. I've had alligator in Florida. Yeah, Florida's an interesting spot too, brother. I've had alligator in Florida. But here's the thing. Like, you can go – like, we can go to Union City and get some of the best Cuban food probably in the country. You know, because it's got one of the highest. It's the second highest. Cuban Cuban pizza. Pizza. What's that? Been Cuban pizza in Montclair. Oh, that place phenomenal. That's Love good. Cuban pizza. Kansas uh, Jackson says Kansas City's got good barbecue. Um, Louisiana slash New Orleans, the food makes them feel hungover. <laughs> right, well, it's heavy, but yeah. there, there's a so I can't remember the place we went for crawfish. If this this is years ago, I told you about the one place. That was on like like right off the highway that the town had like seven houses, but it, it was a famous place. But what there was a place I go to in downtown New Orleans in um, what do they call the main area there? Uh, Bourbon Street. It's called Oyster House. I've never had oysters, so it's called Oyster House, right? They have these o different oysters, like a Oyster Rockefeller. That was the first time I had Oyster, Rock. and then but they had all kinds of great stuff, and then I got like. I got oysters. Hey, on football in the kitchen sink, food. <laughs> I got oysters and yeah, oyster house is great. I got oysters and I got like a I can't remember the steak I got, but what it's on the corner there and it's like one block off of like Bourbon Street. So it's it's always crowded, but it's got this like New Orleans just like just cool feel to it. It's like open and I don't know. Atmosphere, man. Yeah, but there are places that have more atmosphere. That place is like a place that, like, you could just chill out. Right. You know? I don't know if you like that. That's why I, when I was young. Yeah, some, of it, some of it might be too social for me. When young, when I was young in New Orleans, I was at the crazy spots. As I got older, I, I would go to, like, Oyster House or um, – I never got to eat at the Commander's Palace. That's, As uh, you matured, we could say? Well, I matured enough to know that I don't want to be in the craziness. Uh, door, the door bash busy again. Sorry. So, anyway, is this, did the Eagles and the Lions have their answer? Listen, if you can right now, pull up. I, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know you're going to say. Let me get pull it. up Campbell's interview. Is it, what's his name? Dave Campbell? Dan, I think. He was a Giants tight end for a while, brother. You got hey, some music going? What happened? Is this you the got some music going? Oh, that's upstairs. Yeah. yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah. It's not me, but they're having a good time, it sounds like. It's one of Troy's favorite songs. Why are you always in a mood? Oh. <laughs> it's like, why are you always in a mood? Start singing it. Um, okay. I think he heard me. He's coming down. 
What's up, bud? Sing it, Troy. Let me see if it's five here. I don't know if you hear it. I hear it. All right, and we're going to stand up and two more times to knock it down. All right, and on the way up, we're going to. Oh, let me see if I get it better. Long. There you go. There you go. Uh, you know, hey, we're going to win this many games. I can't. But uh, none of that matters, and you guys don't want to hear it anyway. You've had enough of that shit. So, excuse my language. <laughs> All right, here's what I do know is that this team is going to take on the identity of this city, all right? And the city's been been down, and it found a way to get up, all right? It's found a way to uh, overcome adversity, all right? And so this team's going to be built on, uh, we're going to kick you in the teeth, all right? And, and when you punch us back, we're going to smile at you. And when you knock us down, we're going to get up. And on the way up, we're going to bite a kneecap off, all right? And we're going to stand up, and then it's going to take two more shots to knock us down. All right, and on the way up, we're going to take your other kneecap, and we're going to get up, and then it's going to take three shots to get us down. And when we do, we're going to take another hunk out of you. Before, before long, we're the, going to be the last one standing. All right, that's going to be the mentality. Yeah. So, I, what do you think of that? See, we're different. To me, that makes me want to go put on eye black and run through a wall. To you, it says whatever, buddy. You're gone in the year. These are NFL players, and he's an NFL player. Nicole, what's your favorite kind of food? Oh, uh, you can't hear because I have my headphones. Oh. Derek wants to know what your favorite kind of food is. Huh? Your favorite food. My favorite food? Yeah. Like anywhere. You're, she's cultured. She's been like places. Seafood, yeah. and, seafood and Italian. Seafood or Italian. Yeah, that's very general. Like it's something. Lobster. So she's one of those. Oh, yeah, she's definitely. Yeah. Although I do like lobster too. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely a lobster. Oh yeah, you gotta tell her now. I called her bougie. <laughs> oh, she said you're bougie. That's all. Oh, whatever. Come on, <laughs> She said whatever. I know, cause she knows me. What type of Italian food though? Like, what's her go-to? What's not your, just like what's your, steak too. What, what, not just like pasta steak. in a bowl. Yeah. Well, what kind of Italian do you like? Ah, uh, the library looks nice. What kind of Italian yeah. do I like? Yeah, Troy likes my library. Well, who wouldn't? There's a lot of books. Troy, right, let's go. The, we'll come, Nicole we'll doesn't like my library. Like it's, I don't either. It kind of creeps me out. I feel like you're sitting in the end of an aisle. Like, is she going to order like chicken parm? You said the F word. What did I say? Troy just said Bobby said the F word. Oh, she did? Oh, boy. What did he say? All right. Troy, before you go, your favorite food. Oh. Since this is our. Good. I'll give you two things. Your favorite regular food and your favorite dessert. Go. Get in the screen so you can see it. Uh, what I like to do, please? No, you're not going to on a book. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Um, All right, into the mic, my friend. Into the mic. My, di- my favorite dessert is cookies and cream. Ice cream? Milkshake. Okay. Ooh. Okay. And then what's your... And, and, and then your favorite um, regular food. Cheeseburger? I got it. Mac and it's cheese? It's a secret. I'll tell you one second. Chicken Go. nuggets? I, I'm going to come back. What? Turkey. Turkey. <laughs> like Thanksgiving turkey? <laughs> Can you hear it, Derek? What like say? Thanksgiving turkey or like turkey sandwich? Or... Like a turkey sandwich? You want to say a turkey sandwich or like an actual turkey? Actual turkey. An actual turkey meat. <laughs> wow. A turkey for a turkey. <laughs> That's interesting. All right, kid. You're out of here. No. Good job. Great job once again. I'm in here. Go, well, we're in the. Careful. You might knock over a book. Your segment's over. Great job with your segment. You're like a guest segment guy. Exactly. You you know, like, you know, when they have like Fox and they have the guy on and he he's there for like 30 seconds and he's trying to keep talking, but they kind of like say, yeah, that's great having you. We'll see you next time. Nicole's <laughs> trying to cook like chicken parm or something. Like, leave her alone. What's that? 
no, you gotta go, bub. Good job. Good job. Remember That'll be right before. up. Don't worry about it. I went to your library. It was like poof, I had to cut it out of the episode. <laughs> First time I had to do editing on her episode. Poor Nicole. She just deals with you. It's Troy, like Troy, Troy. I grabbed the I grabbed the phone and Troy then Troy I, I ripped it out because he was mis, uh, kind of misbehaving. And this is when you were not on that day. And just and melee. So I I, it's, it's, I blame you for this. And then uh, he, uh, 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 as I grabbed it away, he fell off the thing. I'm like, I don't know if I can have that out of the pocket. I got to pull, pull you that You think off. it's really turkey? No, I don't. Because he, well, he does, he, he does have turkey sandwiches. That's what I'm saying. For, for I love one, a good turkey sandwich. Me too. I, I think he, he doesn't know. I don't know if he knows what it, what I mean, what we mean by turkey, or he knows what a turkey. I don't think he knows the difference between. If he's you put it in front eating. of him, he would know it. But that's he good. like he's not just eating like mac and cheese or chicken nuggets. Well, he does eat mac and cheese and chicken nuggets, but he I doesn't like everything. Chicken. He's not like a. He likes chicken yeah. nuggets, but he's he'll, bored. Eat, he'll eat food. Yes. Like if you he, give him something, say Troy, try this. I'm surprised he didn't say what his favorite food is because this is, this he takes more than eats more than anything else. You know what it is? And it's all the time, every day. Chocolate milk. You want to get your child. Now I'm not now I'm not saying don't that, do this. There's a lot of people don't don't like don't like giving their kids too much milk because you know, sometimes people have like I don't know if they're allergic to it, but like they don't handle it well, maybe like, you know. Right. But if your kid handles it well, milk. And you know, I'm telling you. My kid's growing like a weed. Yeah. And, and he, all the kid, uh, he eats, you know, I'm not saying he like, he doesn't eat, he doesn't eat that much, but he, he drinks chocolate milk like it's his job. Literally. Like it's it could be job. worse. He could be like, you know, like, like in other things, like, I don't know, like drinks that aren't good for you. Like what's, I mean, to me, what's wrong with chocolate milk? Like, nothing, nothing. I, I just, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's he, been could drinking like, since he, was like, like he could be like ice tea or soda oh, no, or, yes. He likes you know ice cream, but chocolate milk's number one. Yeah, I I don't know if I've ever seen my niece or nephew drink soda. Oh, thanks, Jackson. I appreciate it. Yeah, that was good. He looks like a young pup now. Uh, yeah, but sometimes I know. Yeah, you know, I have some pictures. You might think I'm 25. Well, I'm just saying some because they were pictures from when I was 25. <laughs> <laughs> You're ridiculous. <laughs> oh boy! Uh, All right, let's wrap this thing up. Well, there was one other thing I had to cover, and I forgot to get. I don't think we got the to Eagles hire. Who the Eagles hire? Was that what you're looking for? Because it was not the two names. I don't know who it. Is. I don't know anything about them, so I can't really discuss it. I was saying, there's. I'm gonna have to do some research. We're gonna have to get back to it tomorrow. But what about? Um, oh, and then Gary Kubiak, but that's more like a, a note footnote. And didn't he have some health issues anyway when he was still? Yeah. You know what I mean. I thought he had some issues moving forward. Yeah, I see. I I think the Lions coach, if what he's doing works, great. If it doesn't, it's gonna be short. My thing is, look, it's Detroit. It's the Lions. Nothing else has worked. What the hell? Wasn't Matt Millen like? Didn't he come in talking like that? Look, you had Matt Patricia come in talking like that. Did if he? I don't know. Just can't win there. Well, that's you get another job. job. How come his name's not being mentioned anywhere as a DC? Matt Patricia? Yeah. Why would it be? Didn't he wasn't he phenomenal before he went to the Lions? Oh, he'll surface somewhere as a DC eventually. He's just gonna cash his check sitting on the couch. He might Good. need to lose some weight. Why did he get heavier? Yeah. Really? I think so. Who am I to talk, but mm. well, I'm it's slimmer, hard so. to be in that. look, Rex Ryan lost all that weight and now it's all looks like it's all back on. Is it really? I, I didn't even seen him. Yeah, he's on ESPN in the mornings. And he lo- and he gained all his weight back. Looks like it's all back. They bust uh, him all the time. Like Rex can't button that button anymore, huh? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. And he's just a lunatic. So he is a lunatic, dude. His brother, Rob Ryan, is it? Yeah, he's nowhere to be found in years. He, we were, when, the listen, Cowboys, right? He would be closing that at the NFL Combine. He'd be closing those places down. He had the long flowing locks and refused to cut it. Funny. Really, really, really funny. 
Some of the it's too bad about that NFL comic because some of the best like networking, networking thing I've ever had was at the NFL comic. Text the next nice door. Yeah, no, I get it. I mean, you can see it's just that atmosphere. Yeah. Well, all right. Well, this was a good show. We we went like sideways. And we went we, history. Kind of we went history, food, mascots. Man, we were all over the place. How about Kardashian? Is he? Is she divorced? In uh, yeah. There, I told you this days ago. I, I can't believe more, that. Who's gonna pay more? Who makes more money? Man, Kanye. Kanye. Man. They just kind of got seven on the side. So what's the difference? Just like no, she I don't. Both of them probably have ten others, and it's you not like so? their options are limited. Wait, you think you think that he? Wait, 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 wait. I believe that he might have some on the side. Do you think she has stuff on the side? Really? Come on. Look, if who's, that's who's, awesome. who's the best looking Kardashian in your opinion? Her. I love her. Kim? I have since day one. How about the youngest one? Nah, they were like too, too young when too I was. Young. I know they were kids it's like for me. It's like it's like, you know. Yeah, they seem they still seem the one young. that like, and I don't like the Chloe one because she was something, and now she's a totally yeah. different human being. Like, you can't just like that's just. I weird. think the oldest one's really pretty too, yeah. and she's the biggest. Mm. Well, I don't know. I didn't watch the show, so I don't know what. Me, me neither. But Jen is a huge, you know, the Kardashian all the time that she's a reality TV junkie. But that's yeah, that was her go to forever. So. She fights or something. Is that what you're saying? She's always fighting. She's just a b word. Is she really? Yeah, she's the one that swings at Kim all the time. Like they fist fight, swing on like fight. Yeah, like they fight on that show like more than the two swing of them fist swing. Fight. Yeah, like well, bam, like haymakers. What, dude? Just you got it. Start YouTube. Look, you watch all these Dion videos. Start watching some Kardashian videos, man. Yeah. They're hardcore. I gotta watch that. That's crazy. <laughs> is that is that man? Yeah. You, before we go, I'll tell you one one funny thing. Well, I don't know if it's funny, but. It, when I used to travel all the time for events, um, I would bring either a new series. Like I would bring either my. It used to be um, not. It's not a i. It's not an iPhone. It's an i. It used to. They don't have it anymore. It was like a. It just was a player. I. Pod. Yes, iPod. The iPod. And I would watch movies on it, or show shows or right. movies. So and then sure or, you had the latest version, right? So at the time, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. You were, so, you were the man. Uh, so I watched. Um, so I stumbled upon this show that was famous at the time called Gossip Girl. Okay, I, should, I kid you not. Jokers. I kid you not. I watched the whole thing. I like what season of travel? Like I watched all that. I thought it was. I thought it was so entertaining how these high school kids could like stab each other in the back, all these crazy stuff. And they lived in New York City. And then right, like on their, time, on their own. And then one time I got stuck watching. I can't remember. Oh, I know what it was. I got stuck and I didn't have my iPod. And the only thing I had was the TV in front of you. And they had on the um, the. Uh, Housewives of uh, – that's a show, right? Housewives? You pick uh, it. North uh, Jersey. Housewives uh, of New Jersey. Housewives it of – It was New York Orange City. County. Oh, with Bethany. It was New York City. And I watched I, – I like, you know how you kind of just watch it like it must have been a marathon? Yeah, and then you go into like a trance. <laughs> right. So – And I, then you have to I, keep watching it. Right. At first I didn't want to watch it. You know, right, like, like oh, I'm not sure to watch. Like, so I started watching and the plane lands and they're like – they're like, sir, you know, it's time. To, like, I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, God, everybody's gone. There wasn't that many people. On the, I'm like, everybody's gone. They're like, sir, you got to go. I'm like, oh. You know, I like, wait, to, it's almost done. I'm like, I'm never going to watch this show again as soon as I leave here. I just want to know what happens. <laughs> I'm like, I'll never watch it ever, ever. That's terrific. And I never did. I watched it that whole plane ride. That's like, so all those creepy. Episodes, and never watched an episode ever again. Good for you. Uh, but I wanted to see what the heck happened. Other than that. I didn't get to see it, so I couldn't even tell you. I just remember there was, like, one little blonde lady, and then then they had their husbands, and, like, everybody was all bougie, bougie, bougie. Yeah, no kidding. 
Yeah, and it, everything was so dramatic. I guess that's I don't know. That's that's what sets the scene. Yeah, so I don't know enough about that stuff. I guess I gotta get caught up on. Uh, I'm only in it because I gotta live it. I, I was so shocked by it. I, I remember I don't remember this is many years ago. But I'm, I don't remember what I was saying, but I said, "Have you ever seen a show called The Housewives?" Do you and like everybody knew it. I didn't even. I didn't, yeah, and you're sitting there like, wait, I, I was missing oh, out. Oh, you on just something. watched all these episodes. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> anyway, on that note, I'll let you go. Shows you shows you how kitchen sink, I baby. Am. This is what this show is all about. Kitchen sink, everything uh, under the sun. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, man. Have a great day. Later.